Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this. Look at that. Doesn't that look sick on that box? Yeah, this is actually the Berserker RDA. It's a mouth to lung RDA. It's from Vandy Vape and Alex from um, um, Vapors MD. And he actually designed this. Alex did. And Vandy Vape manufactured it. And it's actually just for those vapors that want mouth to lung, but they want an RDA for flavor. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started and take a look at it. Okay, so here we are with the Berserker Melt to Lung RDA by Vandy Vape and Alex from Vapors MD. This is actually the retail package that it comes in. Um, it says all that information here. It's designed by Alex. It says Berserker here. Um, this is the scratch off authenticity. And then you've got your serial number and other information there. And yeah, so that's the box there. And then on the back, it actually tells you what is included in the kit. You're gonna receive the RDA user manual, six airflow tubes, which we'll go over. Super fine mouth to lung fused Clapton coils, 10 millimeter drip tip, accessory bag, coil correction tool, 22 millimeter atomizer ring, and a 24 millimeter atomizer ring. And it shows you some pictures of the variations on, on the back. And then you open it up. Inside the package, you are gonna get um, your extra screws as well as your squonk pin, your screwdriver, and your Allen key, and of course your O your O rings. Um, I'm actually gonna be taking out this Allen key and the squonk pin because we are gonna squonk with this RDA. Um, I actually have the perfect mod to put it on that I'm in love with, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna take that out, put that right there. And it also comes with a user manual and it is in a multitude of languages. It'll actually show you the pictures of it, how it comes apart and things like that. And then of course, additional information on priming your coil and things like that. So there's your user manual. And then it also comes with the quality certificate from Vandy Vape. This is their new quality certificate, which I think is really, really cool. This did pass QC or quality control. And then it comes with these two super fine mouth to lung fused Clapton coils. And it actually gives you the description of what they are made out of. Isn't that awesome? It's, um, it's got the ID, it's got the ohms, it's got what it's made out of, which is Nichrome 80, six wraps. I mean, it's, it's awesome. So yeah, so we're gonna be using that. And then it's got this little container here, which this has actually got your extra, um, drip tip these right here are your tubes for your airflow which i'll be showing you and then this is just like a coil correction um tool that you can use um it's to help you place your coils or push them down if you need to and so we've got that these are the o-rings that it was talking about this is actually the 22 millimeter so it is 18 millimeters here on the top to fit the atomizer and then it does go down to 22 millimeters or it goes up and the same here, it starts at 18 millimeters and it goes to 24 millimeters. And these do come in four colors. It comes in stainless steel, black, gold, as you can see, and rainbow. And um, each one of them, the rings do match whatever the atomizer is. And then we've got the atomizer right here. And this is really nice. It's actually got the drip tip to match it, which is an Ultim drip tip. It screws off like this, and then you can use the extra one that was in the bag. You would just screw in the other one. Or if you want and you have your own 510 drip tip, you can actually just take this off and put your own 510 in there. It will fit. This is actually the drip tip all together taken apart, but I like the, the design of that. I, I love that, that look to it. On the top, this is your top. It is conically shaped but really really tiny <laughs> and that's that and it slides right here so when you're dripping if you want to use this as a regular rda dripping rda you can just go ahead and drip here and it's really got nice tolerance it's not too loose too too tight on the bottom here it does say berserker mouth to lung rda it's got alex's signature here and of course it's manufactured by vandy vane it does have your um, regular 510, but we are gonna be taking that out so we can swap it for the, um, the squonking one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. And just to swip, switch them out, it's this easy. It's literally just take that out. 
And of course, for theirs, it does come in two pieces. So you do have to have, you have a second one in here that you need to pull out as well. So go ahead and pull that out. Just unscrew that piece as well. Their 510s do come in two pieces. And it's so that you can adjust it. That's the reason why they actually did it that way, was to make them adjustable. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put in the squonk one. There's your peak insulator there. Make sure that stays in. And then of course for the squonk pin, you will need the Allen key that was provided. And you just screw that in. You want it tight, but you don't want to strip it either. So you don't want to make it over tight, but you do want it tight in there. And then we'll go ahead and look at the deck. Let's pull this off. Okay, and here's the deck. It is made for a single coil, as I mentioned before. And then you've got your two screws here. This is all gold plated. Um, if you notice there, there's a hole right there and there's also a hole on that side. That's where your liquid gets dispersed evenly. So it'll be on one side of the wicking and the other. Your coil is actually gonna be laying directly in the middle. Um, you're gonna have one leg on this side and one leg on that side. Here's your airflow. As you notice that it is really, really open. You can actually leave it like this if you want to, but it does come with, because it is a mount to lung RDA, it does come with those tubes so that you can fit them in, which I will show you once we're done building and everything else so that I can show you the, the um, how to place it. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and loosen these up. Let me put this on tighter. While I'm loosening it, I'm just gonna tighten it up. <laughs> I'm just gonna lift up that screw and lift up this one here. And then I'm gonna actually be using the coils, the teeny weeny little coils that they provided since they're already here and they're already made to go in here, it just makes it that much easier. And they do come with two, which I think is great because it's not like you're gonna be changing them like in three days. So as long as you take care of them, you're good. And here is the coil here. And you can put it either this way or you can put it down. Um, I prefer it down only because it's gonna be lower to the airflow once we put in that that um that tube. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this here. This one's gonna go on that side. This one's gonna go on this side. And they literally like fit under the screw. I gotta lift that up just a little bit more. Okay, and then this one I'm gonna slide on this one. Just right in there. It just makes it a lot easier when you do it that way. And then I'm gonna put this one over here so that way I'm only having to really tighten down the one. And it goes right under it, right next to it in there. I'm loosen this up just a little bit more. Oops, make sure it's on camera. That's always helpful, there we go. So it's underneath now. Let's start screwing that down. Just gonna pull that a little bit this way. Make sure it's centered. Tighten that one down, and then we'll go and tighten the other one down. It's literally that easy. This is super easy, especially for beginners that want an, a mount-to-lung type of R, RDA instead of an RTA. This is absolutely perfect. What I'm gonna do is actually take the tool and just straighten out my coil a little bit. There we go. I just wanna make sure that it's nice and centered and everything is tied down good. There we go, and then we'll go ahead and get the clippers and clip our leads, just like on any other RDA, you definitely wanna do that. So we're gonna go ahead and clip this one. And stick it in your finger, and clip this one. Try to get it to as close to the deck as possible. I'm really, you know about that. Okay, so there we go. It's literally in, your coil's already in. It's that easy, you can't get any easier for an RDA than that, and being mouth along, this is gonna be absolutely perfect. Again, I do have the squonk pin in, so if you wanna see the liquid, before I even go ahead and dry burn it, I'll go ahead and squonk it, and you can see the liquid come out, see? It's on that side, and on this side. It comes out both sides, so cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fire up the coil, make sure it's glowing evenly. And this is actually my Luxotic squonk box and I love this box. I absolutely love it. So it's just gonna slowly pulse it. 
And then with some ceramic tweezers, we're just gonna go ahead and lightly strum the coil until it's glowing evenly. We can even go ahead and press them. Almost done. It doesn't take a lot for these coils. There we go. It's now glowing evenly. So now we can wicker up. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you the airflow. So I can go ahead and put this in and then I'll wick, I'll wick it afterwards. So what we do is we open up this packaging. And again, the, this is exactly how it's gonna come. It's got the different size air, airflow holes. So if you want just barely, very, very restricted, you would use that. These have the three little holes. It'll give you, it's, I think they're like one millimeter each. This is like a two millimeter airflow here. And then you've got the others. I'm actually gonna use the two millimeter one. There's your extra dip tip and your tool. And for your tool, I'm gonna show you how to do that. What you're gonna do is right here, you're just gonna take this little tube with the hole up because that's where your airflow is gonna be and you just literally just slide it in there. That's it. And then you've got airflow here and you've got airflow underneath the coil. So yeah, so see, there it is right there. So that's how your airflow works. With this little tool, it's really, really helpful because if you notice that this side is actually blocked off and that side is open, if you wanna change them out, you can actually just go ahead and push it out like this and change them out. So you don't even have to take your coil out, you're wicking anything. If you wanna change out your airflow, it's literally that easy. This I think is an absolute perfect starter RDA for anybody mouth to lung or just starting and wanting something that's not gonna be too massive. So that's perfect. So let's go ahead and get our cotton. I will go ahead and wick this baby up. Of course, I'm gonna be using my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. So I've got that here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a little piece, cause this is really small, so I don't need that much. Get some cotton out right there. And then let's go ahead and wick it. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your cotton, you're gonna twist it, just like you normally would. I'm gonna take a little bit more off here. I can usually feel the difference of what I need for the size coil I'm using. That's perfect. Just twist it up. If it feels too thick in your fingers, just take some off. That's all you need to do. It's that easy. And then you just put this through. You pull it through the other side. Sometimes you might want a pair of tweezers just to get it started. And then just pull it through. You want it tight, but you don't want it too tight. You want it snug. So what I'm gonna do is just pull the other end. See, it's in there, it's tight, but it's not over tight. So there we go. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and fluff out my cotton because I do like my cotton fluffed out. Um, to me, it actually, the liquid absorbs into the cotton up to the coil a lot faster when you've got them actually fluffed out rather than just putting them in stiff. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And this has a really, really deep juice well, so I'm gonna cut it to right about there. And right about here. And then all you need to do is just put your cotton in. Just like literally, there you go. And there's that side. And you're all done. All you need to do now is just prime up your coil, which I do with every single RDA that I have, no matter if it's melt to lung or not. And that's putting some juice on and making sure that it saturates within the cotton. What I'm gonna be using to date for that is actually, where did it go? Cause it's already in my spunk bottle. Is that hit that donut, the chocolate frosted donut. Oh my God, it's heaven. If you haven't seen the review on that, um, yeah, I'll leave it down below. It's really that good. So all you have to do to prime up your coil is you're gonna put a little bit of juice there on your coil and just pulse it lightly and you'll see it disappear. It literally soaks into the cotton and into the coil. And even though it does have a squonk, I always do this first and then I'll squonk to get the cotton from the bottom. But I do wanna make sure that the, the cotton that is within the coil is actually also saturated. So I'll go ahead and squonk it now. There you go. I heard that and it looks saturated to me. Squonk it one more time. And there we go. Now, on the top cap, it does have these airflow options. So you've got them from the tiniest all the way to the biggest. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the biggest one on here because that's the way I'm gonna use it. I'm just do it that way. Now, if you wanna go smaller, you can. All you have to do is just turn your, your ring like, well, it does unscrew sometimes when you do that. So you wanna turn it like this. There's the small one. There's the second one. There's the third one. And you've got the fourth one. A little bit bigger until you're at the biggest one. Okay, so that's that. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna um, unscrew this. Of course, now it doesn't wanna unscrew. There we go. Unscrew this so I can show you the rings. This is the 22 millimeter ring that it comes in and basically your RDA just sits right in it and it'll fit like this. So it gives it that little bit of a, a bottom to it. Um, and it's also got the 24 millimeter, which is just a little bit bigger, depending on what device that you have it on. If you don't want it too big or too little, see 24 for this device, I think it'll be just pushing it a little bit. So I'm actually gonna use the 22 millimeter one. And again, they do come with matching colors. And all you do is you just put it on and just screw it down. And it gives it that little bit of a look to it, you know? And I'm just gonna make sure my airflow is all the way open. And there you go. I'm ready to vape. So let's go ahead and go on top and I'll tell you my pros and cons. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a vape. Now, I will tell you, I kind of forgot how to do the mouth to lung. So I have literally been vaping this as a direct lung, which you can do. You can definitely vape it as a as a as a direct lung. It's gonna be really really restricted though, so I don't re recommend it for you know like I guess for beginners. Um, I would prefer you to use the mouth to lung because that's what it's made for. But I'm gonna try the mouth to lung. So let me see. Nope. Nope. I did it, mouth to lung. Okay, so, nice small little, and it looks great on this box, this Luxotic box. I'll leave the video down below of the review for this. It turned out perfect. It matches it absolutely perfect. You can, let me see, I'm gonna go ahead and go on the pros. All right, so you can use your own 510s. I think that's great, but I love the look of this just the way that it is. Um, if I had a darker box, like maybe say for instance, I had it on my Athena, I would like the black one. Um, but this actually matches it perfectly with the gold and the gold base. It does come in four colors, stainless steel, black, gold, and rainbow. Um, I like the fact that you can switch out your airflow. I mean, it's like literally you can just take off your cap and push your airflow out and switch it like literally just pull it out and switch it if you want something a little bit different that would be the way to do it um i love that i i think that having options for me i love options um if anybody knows me i love options i like this little ring on here because even though it's a small little atomizer it makes it look a little bit bigger so it doesn't look like a teeny weeny little thing it kind of actually to me it makes it look like a little bit of a diva um addy to be honest with you. But if you're looking for something that you can squonk with or you can use as a regular dripping RDA, if you want to drip, all you need to do is just take off this and you would just drip right down there. Make sure my cotton is wet because I was vaping it. And you can squonk it, you can drip on it. Like say for instance, if I want to drip on it, I can just go ahead and drip, drip, drip. So you can drip, you can squonk, I think it's I think this is an amazing idea. I love the aesthetics of this. I mean, it's just beautiful looking. Um, geez, I don't even know. I, I love that it has options. Cons, um, oh my God, and another pro, they actually put the material on the packaging. What type of coil they gave you? That is a big, big pro that we've been asking for for so long with these um, Addies that come with coils and you're like, what's the material? You don't even know what it is. These are Nichrome 80 coils. They're fused Clapton's. It tells you the measurements. I think that was a serious big pro for Vandy Vape. Thank you so much for doing that. We really, really do appreciate it. Um, cons, I haven't really seen any cons on this, to be honest with you. I can't really name not one con. Um, other than maybe, all right, there's one con. There's one con. That little tube that goes in, it does come out like 
a little bit too easy, I think. Well, it doesn't come out easy. It just feels like it can come out easy. But being that you have the top cap on, it's not gonna come out until you change it. But to me, it's just, it feels a little bit loose in there. But other than that, I, I really can't find any cons. I'm gonna attempt them out to lung again. I did it. It's got really, really good flavor. It's really easy to wick, you saw that. I mean, it's single coil, you can't go wrong with that. I'm still gonna direct lung it. Even direct lung with a mouth to lung, I can still get clouds. So I think that that's great. The price is great. I think it was going for, I can't remember the price. I'm gonna leave that down below. I do know that vandyvape.com has it and I think my V Pro. I'll leave that link down below along with the price as well. And in addition to it, just in case you didn't know, I do have one for giveaway. This is the rainbow one. So I do have one for giveaway. So to be entered in the giveaway, you do have to be 21 years of age or older. You do have to have an address in the US and you do have to pay a $7 FDA shipping fee to get it. Um, in addition to that, I want you to leave a comment down below and I just want you to put Berserker. Um, you can comment anything else. I would really like your opinion on it. Like if, if it's something that you would like, I do know that for me, I have a lot of viewers that are actually new to RDAs and newer vapors and looking for like new kits. So I would like to know your opinion on it. I would like to know what you think. Um, if you were to get this, are you going to use it? Um, yeah, so just let me know. Um, but just put Berserker. That's all that's really needed to be entered in the giveaway. If you don't want to put anything else, you really don't have to. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. Um, once this reaches 700 light, um, 700 likes, 700 views, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the, the name of the winner using random.org. And then, um, of course, I'll make a video to announce the winner. And yeah, so, I mean, I think it, I don't know. On this box, I think it was like made for it, to be honest with you. I think it was made for this. This is like a sweet setup. And you know me, I'm all about like matchy matchy. So this is cool. Being able to direct lung and mouth to lung, that's a pro for me. Um, so yeah, so if you uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, that does always help me out um, to a point. Um, if you have any comments or questions, you can also leave them down in the comments below. Um, other than that, all my social media is gonna be down below as well as my Patreon page if you wanna go ahead and check that out. I'm also on Facebook. I've actually got my personal page on Facebook plus my Wendy Vapes Hangout group on Facebook and also a new group on Facebook for the LGBT community. LGBTQ community. <coughs> so if you're interested, go ahead and take a look at that. But yeah, so I think I'm done. I still got clouds. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.